Um, yeah, I'm gonna fuck him up. Don't worry about it. Just put your money on me, you'll get it back. But okay. But okay. Okay, so I was listening. I was listening to the story time. And I'm gonna retell the story for those of you who just joined up. Um, so, after he, like, while I was during the combo, right, the, the, the converter breaks, um, they pause, pause it, but, you know, the only thing that follows up is Nova Slam, like, it's for free, but whatever. I know the rules, I, I would have taken the salt, but what I did not take was the attitude that he, that he had when he won. He had such a, like... And added to that, he actually beat me. Like, he took this win. And he, he actually thought he won, like, with pure skill. And he stood up. Before I say this. I would have taken the salt. Would have been mad for, like, five minutes. Shook his hand. We would have been friends. But he stood up with a grin on his face saying, good game. I lost it. I grabbed that nigga by the collar of his neck. And just slammed him to the wall. Grab him by the collar of his neck, lift him up, slam him to the wall, and told him, don't talk to me again. So after that, months pass, and, I ch and I'm not one to hold a grudge, but, so I challenge him, okay, let's do a first to ten, we'll put her behind us. He said nothing. I was like, okay, maybe he didn't hear me. Second time, I challenged him. He literally walked away without saying anything. Then I noticed he was dodging. Every uh, hey, I'm getting to that. Every single time I challenged him, he made an excuse or simply just walked away. To the point that I challenged him in front of Justin Wong, so he would uh, like at least have a pair, like in front of so like someone he respects. But no, he was still the bitch and said, "Oh, I had not enough practice." And I'm like, nigga. You've been playing every session. How do you not get enough practice? So, the, it was scheduled that we were going to do this match months ago. He made me... I have a job. I have an important job. And people depend on me. And I still came to Boca Raton to the very first time body in Boca. He didn't show up. And I'm like... Like this bitch, this bitch literally doesn't have a pair. Really? So now, months pass. He goes to TFC. Now he thinks it's good? Now he thinks it's good because what? He took what? Like two wins of some random ass? Now he, ch he accepts the challenge. But I'm like, it's been five months, dude. Like... Okay, you accepted the challenge, but it's five months. You cannot say you're out of practice and come to a recession. I mean, if you're in practice, fine. Uh, we'll, you'll take a week. Two weeks among tops. But you've been coming to a recession. Come on, dog. Like, don't do, don't, don't talk shit. Like, if you don't want to play, say, like, I don't think I can beat you, Tyson. So I'm going to stay away. He took that win, he knows he took it by just by technicality, there's no way he can beat me in a straight full first to 10 challenge. So now, tonight, and it's getting pretty late, and he has still not show up. I'll get to you ASAP Ricky. Tonight, I'll prove to him that after all this time that we've known each other, he has yet to learn zero. He has yet to learn a confirm, he has yet to learn a, co a decent fucking combo, he has yet to learn a decent fucking lightning loop, or a grab confirm. Oh my god. He rides on the fucking coattails of Phoenix, and I have practiced for months against this bitch to not let her go crazy, because I'm gonna go control the only factor in his team that will allow him to win. So yeah, that's the backstory. As far as Ricky, I'll see you in NEC if you come. First 10. I know you you have a pair and you'll 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 say yes. Like you'll you'll fight me. Like you're no fail. But yeah. <sighs> We're not I mean there's people betting right now. There's people betting. Uh, but we ourselves, 
we are not putting money on the line. Aside from that, I've been betting on myself quite a lot against people. So, I, when I win, will make a lot of money. Hey Flood, shout out to you for winning the major. I was, I was watching your tournament. Uh, that shit was pretty good. Tell me you didn't miss it. Tell me you didn't miss it. What? PZ Boy. PZ Boy. He thinks he missed your match. No, no, he, PZ Boy, you have not yet missed it. Uh, you haven't missed it. You haven't missed it. Uh, and Phil has yet to show up. I want him to show up. I want him to come. And I, 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 that's why everybody's here. That's why Orlando's here. That's why everyone wants to see. They want to see this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot the best part. This, this bitch. This little tiny minuscule bitch had the audacity to come up to me one day at a session, mumble something that apparently was a first to ten challenge without anybody listening and said that I was dodging. Nigga. He went, as soon as I didn't even hear him, he walked away and started texting all my friends that I was dodging him. Come on, dog. Five months I've been challenging you. And you come mumble behind my back something about a fight? And you say I'm dodging? It, it's like... I, I don't even know what to call it. I, I, girl, like not even having a pair. Like even people without a pair have more guts than that. But yeah. Oh! Oh, look! Yo! Ooh. Sorry, I got distracted by the fight, but yeah. Right now, when this fight is over, I'm not gonna shake his hand. I'm gonna slap his hand away and pass him a milkshake and say, Dog, here you go, so you feel better. Now go into training room. That's it. PC boy. Kinetic? Orlando. Uh, people from Orlando say, oh, that's a lot of marble, dog. Oh, no, no, no. oh, we got another, another, another subscription. Foot Dive, shout out to Detour88 for joining on our, on our Twitch channel. We love you, dog. Thank you for coming. Thank you for subscribing. You love Marvel? We, we love Marvel, we love you back. Thank you for joining us on the Twitch channel, Bobby Bobby Man Bobby Manner? Huh? What? Yo, I got a, I got a fucking love song, Lee. His shit, his shit talk while we fight is real. He will, he will brag even when he's losing. Winning or losing, Tong still wins. That's how godlike he is. That's what I'm trying to say. Win or lose, Tong is godlike. Oh yeah, yeah. but Phil got, Phil got to evil. Phil didn't get to evil. Phil lost. After stealing my win, after stealing my match, he immediately lost. You know what? Because he faced Rex, someone who actually paid attention when playing to me, when learning from me. Someone who actually knows what they're doing. Like Phil didn't even get to evil, and that's that's like you know justice. Cheater, like like little bitches don't prosper. I have a KD rate of 3. What? You ready? Let Tyson talk while I, while I play Prophet. You mean milkshakes? I don't think they get it. Okay, so like, so you can know. Every time I'll refer to Phil, I'll refer to him as milkshakes. I, I, I don't know, that's like, that's, that's, 
he lo every time he plays Marvel, like he goes after a milkshake. My plan tonight was to like after I beat him, I was gonna pass him a milkshake. Oh wait, wait, wait. We got another shout out, Bill Fan Club. Thanks for joining our Twitch channel. You get the food food dive shout out. Yo, what's good, Dr. Salt? Oh, hey, Larry, what's up?